And now, Sonic Fan 5002 presents One in Interview Night with Nick Bear. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another great episode of One Interview Night with Nick Bear. That's me. And to be honest, uh, my new editor for, for this show. Special thanks to Buddy Gaming for editing the rest of the uh, episode. So, thanks, Buddy, if you're watching this or while editing this. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, that's not what it's important. The important thing is is our next interview guest. It. She is a voice actor, and everything. All right. Please welcome Yuri. Hello, everybody. Um, okay, let's just scrap the. I was I had something in mind do for my tails voice, but I decided to like. Grow, but. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for having me on here, Nick. I really appreciate it. Oh, oh, you're very welcome. You know. Not usually the people I interview is being this nice to me, you know? I mean, this, I mean, I'm pre, I have watched, like, um, like, this kind of reminds me of, like, Jimmy Kimmel in a way, I guess. There's fun fact number one. I was originally going to have Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel. Just like I can do it right. Like, I was originally going to use the Jimmy Kimmel theme song for the opening credits. But I decided to screw that because I can't have any f copyrighted music. So yeah, continue the interview. <laughs> Wait, I watched freaking Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> what a great way to start the episode. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, without further ado. It's time for the questions. Oh boy. Yeah, this is the main part I do on my show sometimes. I ask people lots of questions of what about their lives, about their Oh, I've seen oh I, I've seen plenty of interviews, so I know what to expect, like when it comes to like questions. Oh, that's good to hear. Alright, so anyways, question number one. What had got you started to voice acting? Um, well, you see, um, I think it all started, like, you see, when I was younger, I was, I had, like, my dad has had a three-disc set of the complete first season of Spongebob Squarepants, and we would always watch that, and I looked in the bonus features section, and there was this, um, thing where it showed all the voice actors and stuff, that actually spoke to me for some reason. And, and then I got, and then I started getting into Sonic when I was in elementary school. I started seeing like these um, YouTubers, like Spin Dash Pro, Sonic Song 182, those guys, like, they really got me up into voice acting. Um, especially, especially Sonic Song 182. I saw KN's like really, really old um, Sonic X voices. That's how, basically how I got my Tails, my Amy, and my Cream voices. And I sort of like built, I sort of like worked my way up until I made them sort of like my own. And then there are like people on YouTube like, I'm sorry, am I rambling? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 you're not. You're doing good. <laughs> okay. A anyways, as I was trying to say, like, there are also some people on YouTube who I kind of, like, idolize. These pe- there are people like, um, Brizzy Voices, um, Eileen Monty, Megan McCarthy, even Darkbox, like, those guys, like, they're sort of like the reason, like, they're sort of like my inspirations for why I love doing, why I, um, say 
But yeah, pretty much. I guess that's all there is to it. <laughs> wow. I never expected that. Like, oh my god. But I'm pretty sure that is a great backstory. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so. Question number two. When you voice Tails in any other games, what what was it like to voice a character for the Sonic.exe fan games? Um, it was kind of nerve wracking, I guess, because when I first auditioned, because when I got into Jay's server, like I was pretty much like a nobody at this point. I haven't done voice acting in like a year or so because the last time that I remember voice acting was like for this Five Nights at Freddy's sister location comic dub of this one comic called One Favor, One Promise by Blue Street Girl. And I kind of needed something to like um, really uh, for me to like do what I love because Back then, I kind of lost interest in Five Nights at Freddy's as a whole because, um, right, I think right after Sister Location, my um, my interest for it kind of like died down. I was now a Sonic.exe fan at, at the time, so I was looking at videos of Sonic Sonic.exe Nightmare Beginning, and I was like, hmm, that actually looks pretty good, and then I realized. Through Master UI Custis's um, channel, Custis, if you're reading this, I love you. I love you so much. You are the you are literally the king of Sonic.exe. I love you so much, man. Anyway, I joined this. I joined Jay's Koiza server, and I realized that there was like a voice acting channel in there. So I put in some voice demos of Amy, Rose, Cream, and Tails. Now, people actually, people actually liked my voices, and that's how I, I think that's actually how I became friends with Custis and Jay's later on. And eventually, the creator of Spirits of Hell, um, Danua252526, I think, he, he saw my Tails voice, and he said, I love your Tails voice, what do you think about auditioning for my game? And I was like, sure, of course. So I sent so I sent him my line like I think January of last year. I think that's when I first sent him my line. Wow. But you know, to be honest, I am I am also really glad to have you on board for a uh, cough cough uh evil corruption which you guys, <laughs> you guys will check out on Game Jolt. Um, I might put it in the link. Uh, right after I upload yeah, this video. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, but anyways, time for question three. <clears throat> what was the first friend you ever made in your life? The first friend I ever made in my life... Um, well, there was this one girl... Um, she was around my age. Her name, her name is Taylor. And so the only re and she was introduced to me because her mom and my mom were best friends at the time and they still are. And what made Taylor like really special to me was because I didn't know this until I was older, but Taylor, um, when she was born, she had, um, let's just say when she was born, her brain didn't get enough oxygen, and she had autism on top of that, so, I, that's what, that's what really hit me, and from that day forward, like, I really wanted to, like, Every time I saw Taylor, I wanted to make the most out of our time together. Like, I really wanted to make her happy. I her happy. That's just what makes me happy. That just doesn't go for... That doesn't just go for Taylor, but that goes for all of my friends in general. When they're happy, that makes me happy. You know, I'm really glad to hear that. And besides, 
that's what some of the happy moments for me when I first met a friend. Yeah, same here, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, question four. Since when was the other first time you met Pyro? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I should say Well, the first time I met him, I think it was like um, December 2017-ish. <laughs> or was it January of last year? I don't know. Because... I, um, I was in Taste Gaming Server, which is kind of like, I really wouldn't say dead. It's just like, like a lot of really noteworthy, a lot of noteworthy people have left. And so far, it's just like, I honestly think the server is probably a mess at this point. Anyways, um, I was on the server and... I was posting some like really old FNAF draw Five Nights at Sonic's drawings on oh, there, oh, okay. and oh, oh, sorry Pyro, to interrupt who... you. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but some cr crazy crap hole just freaking text me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Honestly, um, don't worry. All right, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, you can continue now. Okay, as I was trying to say. Pyro, who is actually one of the admins there, I don't know if he's still in that server, but he um pre he took notice of my art. He liked it, even though I didn't, because it was like th I was at a point in my time where I was like trying to improve on my art style, and and then I realized he was a part of Team Scientics, and I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> Like, uh, literally, that was just, like, my reaction. Like, I was... Holy fuck, that guy's in Team Scientics. I'm, I was, like, freaking out at this moment. Uh, 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 oh, don't, oh, don't worry. My editor can bleep that out for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for God's sakes, I'm pretty sure the censorship will be pretty much improved. Like, like last time, because I have a shitty editor. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like, I never thought I'd be friends with him, like, when I first tried to text him. When I first, when I first DM'd him, like, I never thought we'd be best, we'd be friends at this point, like, I never thought we'd, um, like, I never th thought, like, I'd work, work on projects with him, I never thought I'd be friends with him in general, but yet here we are for some reason <laughs> well hmm. well that's all good to hear yuri eh, yeah all right time for the fifth and final question i hope you're freaking ready for it oh god i'm scared <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry it's all right it's all right it's all right all right the final question is it's gonna be a hard question for you. Out of all the characters you voiced, who was your favorite character to voice act? Oh god. Um I can't for the character I can't I I'm my favorite character to voice as for right now. Um she is a character in Jay's nightmare series. I mean, believe it or not, my favorite character to voice act isn't actually Tails. Oh. Well, tell me, who's this character? Yeah. You... Um, the, my favorite character that I voice act as is probably Sark Amy, a.k.a. Rosie, from the Sonic Duddy XE Night shorts. Um, it's because, like... I don't know. I sort of like identify with her in some way. Like she's very, she's very, like she's very nice, and she, um, like she's been through a lot. Let's just say, because I, I kind of want to be honest with you, but at the same time, like there's gonna be some censorship and. All 
Oh, oh, don't, oh, don't, oh, don't worry. My editor will get right for the censor censorship. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Because oh, oh, no, as so well. Uh... Also, so sorry about that, but uh, for some person first. I... Hey, don't interrupt my freaking. Mm! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. God. Randomness happens it's on this okay, show it's every okay. time. It's okay. It's okay, honestly. Uh oh, okay, continue on. I'm just say, like, um, she was, let's just say, um, ooh, man. She was, let's just say she was, she, before she was killed, she was assaulted. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, I mean, let's just put it at that. And I felt so bad for her. Like she is, like she's, like she just, like she she was assaulted before she was killed. Her friends basically turned against her after they got assaulted and killed. Oh my God! Really? But the thing about her was that. And I was trying to say, like, the thing about her is that, like, she was, um... Uh, no, no, no. I'm, come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to find the word. No, 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 it's all right, just take your time. But she was the only one who, like, fought her bads out of her friends, like, Cream and Sally. Like, while they, like, succumbed to their bad sides of... Uh, Rosie was strong enough to fight. Does that make sense? Well, a little bit. But, you know, speaking of that... But, you know, I was going to plan... M maybe maybe a sequel. I don't know. But, uh... uh, uh oh, and yeah, uh, yeah and, uh, there might be a part two to this interview. I I, I, actually, there might be a part two of my game. Just saying. Oh! Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but but the character change due due to the story change. Um, Amy Amy may may not be present in there. It, it may be. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, uh, yeah, because in the storyline, uh, Amy got killed first. Ooh! Oh my God! Yeah, and uh, sorry to bring in that preview of a new story I planned, but. In the sequel, maybe. Yeah. Maybe just maybe. Uh, alright, so the other character that will be in the sequel is Bunny Rabbit. Maybe. Oh, nice! That's neat! Yep. So, uh, since Sally's in there, and, yeah. So, so, the survivors will be Bunny, Cream, and Sally. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, I guess that's all the questions. But, um, I would really like to thank you for coming over t tonight and showing us, or showing your answers to the questions I gave you. Uh, no problem. Anytime. I'd actually be really happy for, like, a part two to this because I have a lot, like, like, I don't know if you have a lot of questions for me, but I don't know. I don't know at this uh, point, but but you know, you... but you know, once I come up with more questions, to be honest, there might be a part two. Um, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. And besides, I and besides, I got a lot of planned episodes ahead before I do a part two. <laughs> <laughs> well, you good good luck with those plans, are. Right? Hey, thank you so much. Right, so, no problem. All right, so Anytime. that's it, everybody, for one interview night with Nick Bear. Check in, check in next time. I'm going to interview my editor, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, so oh, I hope you don't mind if you do. I just hope you don't mind doing a, a voice for for this very moment. Oh, okay. Want yeah. me to do like the ending portion? No, nah, if it 
let's let's see if you can do a tails real quick. Okay. Hey everybody, this is Tails here, and you're watching One Interview Night with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Now I can sign off. Anyways, I'll Woo! see you guys in the next episode of One Interview Night with Nick Bear. Goodbye, everybody! Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Uh, buddy, me, I'm going to be the next one after this. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to Sonic Man. Oh, you will please subscribe to Nick Bear. Yeah. Uh, have a good day. You can go now. Uh, I want to clean up the place. You guys left your popcorn on the floor. Just get out of the fucking. Get out of the theater, you bitches. Get out! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, the censorship he has to deal with. Holy shit. Yeah! <laughs>